kids. What's up? It has been a crazy day, and you know what? I just got back in. It's seven o'clock, and my, <laughs> my camera was still here, so I'm like, heck, I'll just add some, some little spice for the end of the night. What can I say? It's been a great day. I went out and I had a, um, a lunch appointment, lunch meeting, if you will, um, with my dear friend from Twitter, Duong Sh Gosh, I don't even know how to say her last name. I just call her Duong, that's all there is to it. She's precious, she's adorable. And she was at my birthday party and she's so sweet. Um, but I wanted to tell you guys what I had for lunch. Um, we went to this great Italian place called Francesca's and I had the uh, caprese salad, which you know is just buffalo mozzarella um, on top of tomatoes with basil. And then it had uh, olive oil and balsamic vinaigrette sprinkled on the top. So good, so fresh, so yummy. I had iced tea with no sweetener in it, which I'm drinking all the time by the way. Believe it or not, I drink iced tea, no sweetener. Go figure. If I was in the South and they had sweet tea, I'd be in serious trouble. Um, still drinking my water. <sighs> Third of the bottle down, people. It's very easy. Um, and then I had, they had this soup. I don't even know what it was. <laughs> that sounds bad. I don't know what it was, but it was not a cream-based soup. It was, um, I don't know what it was, but it was good. I had a little cup. Um, so that's what I had for lunch. And then we had a cappuccino afterwards, which was lovely. Um, and then she went to show me, we were talking about her church, and she went and took me to get this book that her uh, pastor wrote. It's all about power of change, you know, getting better from the inside out, which you know I'm all about. I really want to focus equally on... You know, I've always been about that. Not just about improving your body, but improving your mind. So I can't wait to dig into this book. I'll share it with you guys because it looks fantastic. Lots of quotes, which I'm all about. Um, you know, just becoming a better person. And the thing is, you guys, it's like our bodies. You don't just get fit and then stop. It's something that you have to do. It's a perpetual cycle that you do the rest of your life. I always say it's that I have some gift cards in there that say a garden is never finished. You've got to apply that to your life. When you read a great book and it inspires you and it makes you, you know, develop better habits, whether it's, you know, about your workout program or um, what you're eating or if it's about, you know, your spiritual and your emotional side, you have to keep feeding that into your mind. I mean, there's many books that I read again and again and again, and the second or third time I get something totally different out of it. So keep that in mind because um, you, you don't just read a book and then, oh, I'm a better person. You know, believe me, we all go back and forth and we need to, you know, retrain ourselves. And um, I know you think, gosh, Kelly, how can I ever be as perfect as you? I know, I know. It's not easy being me. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, but anyway, yeah, you do. It's it's something that you have to keep doing. So if you if you've got a great book, like one of my favorites is um, Zig Ziglar, um, Better Than Good, great book. Um, sometimes I'll just go get it out of the library. I actually should just buy the audio because I mean I listen to it in the audio, um, in the car, and it's just like wow. And and it'll be something that you hear, and it'll just sit well or sink in differently, and it's just it's amazing. So anyway. That's my little bird for the day. I'm having um, my dinner a little late. This is that brown rice pasta, guys. Could you even tell that that's different? This is one serving, um, so I did. Just in the beginning, when I'm having things that I haven't had before, I'm measuring it out. Because, you know, in this country, we're so completely clueless as to what a real portion size is. Hello, have you been to Maggiano's before? They give you a half size portion is like this big. And let me tell you, when it comes to pasta, I like to eat it. I haven't had pasta in as long as I can remember. But this is brown rice pasta. You get it from Trader Joe's. Totally made with nothing but brown rice and water. That's it. This is a serving. 200 calories. And then I put the Trader Joe's organic marinara sauce on top. A half a cup of that, which was 80 calories. So this is about 300 calories right here. Quite yummy. It's a total carb meal, yes. But I'm not going to sit here and flip out and be like, oh my god, I've got to get protein in there. Um, you know, I think as I go along, I'm, I'm just going to have to figure out, you know, what's the right amount for my body. This is what sounds good to me right now, so I'm going to have this. I'll probably have a cappuccino. And then, I don't know, a couple bottles of vodka after that. Uh, and then uh, that should be good for the night, so just kidding for those of you first-timers. Um, but anyway, I want you guys to have a fabulous night. I had a wonderful day, and look, <laughs> I feel like Napoleon Dynamite. Ooh, but they're back feels so much better. Did you guys notice too, when I shot my um, vlog in there the other day, I had those problems I had again with this autofocus. I think like this camera doesn't like me to get too close to it. It gets scared of me like, oh, and I forgot. 
See, look, it's blurring again. <gasps> I had that issue when I first started vlogging, and now it's coming back. I wonder if it's a setting on my camera. Hmm. We'll have to figure that out later. But I'm wondering if I get up here, is it going to get blurry? Am I scaring it? I'm sneaking up. And it's kind of... Oh, I thought I... <laughs> I sat on the remote control. I thought I stopped it. Um, but I've had some complaints that I haven't been doing my shoes. So the shoes I previewed for you earlier, I'm going to put them on here. And uh, I have not worn these. These are obviously kind of special occasion shoes because they have little rhinestones on them. They're so precious. Ready? Fabulous! Aren't they? See? Little rhinestone, whatever. I haven't worn these in a while. Aren't they adorable? Are you pleased? <sighs> so, anyway. And speaking of that, these probably weren't the shoes I was going to do this for, but I certainly would like to give a shout out to Mr. G. You know who you are. So, you guys have a great, um, what is tonight? It's Wednesday. Oh, seriously. It's been a long day, and I'm kind of crazy. But, um, that's it. So I want you guys to have a great night, and uh, I'll talk to you later. Tommy, Mr. G, how's it going? And um, all I can say is that beach is sounding really nice right now. You know what I'm saying? And for those people that keep writing me and asking me to do a flex video, you like? I don't know. if Is that the kind of flexing you want me to do? You like that? <laughs>